Holy. Papa. Oh, I told you not to do this. But, Papa, it's a fine boat. I, I built it all by myself. Oh, I came to America to work on the land and have something to show for my sweat. I cleared this place. I plowed this ground so you could own it someday and have something to show for your sweat. Who owns the water under a boat? Oli. Oli, two of your uncles back in Norway drowned at sea. And the rest of them will, too. Not one of them ever planted a potato. As long as I live, Ol, you're going to keep your feet on the ground. You never did go to sea, Ollie, but you never planted a potato either. Your hands weren't meant for the soil. They felt better in the grease. Remember your first job away from home? Apprentice in a farm machinery plant? You were 16. Then you learned about electric motors, and they were your next love. Then Pittsburgh, where you worked in the steel mills, and that somehow led you to Chicago, where you learned to make steel into things you treasured, tools, because tools made engines. After that, engines came first in your working life. Automobile engines, motorcycle engines, any kind of engines. Mrs. Doyle was kind enough to let you build your first in the basement of her boarding house in Milwaukee. Say, mister. You gonna run your engine again tonight? I think so. Yes, I think so. Can we watch? What's your name, mister? Oli, Oli Evan Rude. Mine's Rob Carey. This is my mother, Russ. Maybe it won't run anymore. Gee, that's too bad, Mr. Evan Rude. Well, I think we're out of gasoline. You got any gasoline in your pockets? Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, I find something. Gee, thanks a lot. <laughs> What's he doing now? I don't know. Delicious, Mrs. Doyle. Thank you. <laughs> if you don't Thank like you. it, Mr. Fireman, there's another rooming house right down at the end of the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're telling me, Mrs. Doyle. Now we go. Gee, Mrs. Doyle. Oh, thank you. I made these... It's going, yay! Yeah, boy. <gasps> that uh, man. How can we leave here with the dark? Herman, a light. Mr. Evans, what on earth are you doing down here? Well, I, uh, I think uh, I gave it a little too much gas, Mrs. Doyle. Ah, uh, you did that all right. You gave it all there is. Turn off the gas upstairs and we'll all be killed. 
I'll set your supper out in the kitchen if you'll stop the tinkering right away. Ah, uh, yes, Mrs. Oh, Who are those two yahoos? Well, uh, uh, they've been helping me. Well, get along with both of you and close the window. You never did stop tinkering, Oli. Not long after you put out the lights in Mrs. Doyle's house, you married the sister of those two yahoos. Soon you were running your first shop and tinkering with that contraption your friends called the knuckle buster and your wife Bess called your coffee grinder. It was the first model of your outboard motor. Oli? Oli, you can't work on an empty stomach. Oh, Bess, I was coming home in just a minute. Mm -hmm. Well, now you just wipe the grease off your hands and eat this. Oh, all right. <sighs> oh, Oli. Oli, look at this. Now, you and I are going right out and buy you a new suit. Oh, Bess, I haven't got the time. Besides, I don't need a new suit. Mm -hmm. I only wear it when I'm not working. Oh. Now, it's... Oh. Hmm. Say, Bess? Hmm? You know that fellow that borrowed my motor? Yes. He wants to buy ten of them. Oh? Ten. <sighs> I don't know. Ole. I know. Now, look, we can sell these motors for $42.50 a piece. I figured out time and materials, and that's what we've got to charge for them. Oh. That's a lot of money, Bess. Uh, Oli, I think you'd give them away. You have a wife and son to support now, remember? Yes. I think I'd better stop making these things and work on something that will bring in enough to keep the shop going. I have to build up a business. Oli, now you look at me. Oli, sometimes I wonder about you. Well, this can be your business. Make these motors, build them better. Look, Oli, I made up this advertisement, and I think we ought to put it in the newspapers, and I think we ought to put it in that magazine about boats. Now, take a look at this. You made this, huh? I made it up. <laughs> Come on. Don't row. Throw the oars away. Use an Evinrude motor. Don't row. Throw the oars away. Use an Evinrude motor. Bess, that's wonderful. People might write to us. Maybe, maybe they will order a motor. Oh, Oli, that's the idea. <laughs> anyway, we'll see. Yeah, I might be surprised. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Don't row, throw the oars away. Use an Evinrude motor. <laughs> 